going on, Link? You talk to Alma yet? Fucking kid cusses in English better than I do. Native son, dear listener. You know, it's been four weeks since the Reds' tanks rolled through Prague. Soviet so-called Union has continued to keep its stranglehold on Eastern Europe, and I'll tell you, it's... it's... From what I'm reading, these Czechs aren't making it easy for those Ruskies. In fact, the men and women of Czechoslovakia are pushing back against their invaders without using an ounce of force. No guns, no violence, they're just outsmarting the Reds and letting them chase their own tails. How can you look at this revolution and not want to do something? How can you see this revolution and think that Trotsky is and the Leninists are nothing more than schoolyard bullies, the kind you could topple over if you put your mind to it? How can the Johnson administration not see this? Now, I've been hearing folks worry that, oh, oh we don't want another Vietnam. What well, I hear and what the Reds hear when we send a strongly worded message about their invasion of another country is that we just don't want to... Say something about this country of ours and our willingness to defend liberty at home and abroad. It's about our priorities. Until next time, it's Remy Duval. Hello, New Bordeaux. This is Remy Duval, urging y'all to tune in to Nate. You want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. <sighs> I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What's a priest know about trafficking weed? <sighs> I did 
did not want marijuana, frère. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Cassandra is a woman of great strength, fiercely independent. But sometimes she uses her independence to keep others at a distance. I didn't forget what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. Mm -hmm. I won't either. Mm -hmm. I'll send him some new wheels at Delray Hollow. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out to you. Got a car here for you. Appreciate it. Let me know if you need anything else, shall we? Pearly used to put these under our beds. Thought they'd keep us safe. Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, 
the invisibles, the Loa. But sometimes, that is not enough. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Not with a 45 in my hand. The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, all they're looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution, fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell you what they see. A crazy nigga. A nigga part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood, the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it they get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know, at some point you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. We ain't there yet.
You sure my Connell ain't gonna get bent out of shape about us selling guns in his city? Last time I checked, this land down here don't belong to him. It belongs to us. Just saying. He catches wind of this, he could drop the hammer. A lot of people tried to roust us out of here, and not a Cut. one of them ever succeeded. After that shit with Richie, we don't have much choice. Money's dried up, and it's gone. So, they're spreading word, letting folks know if they want guns, they need to come to us. Heard some fellas from Little Rock are coming down. Wanna what? <laughs> see, ain't no cause to fret about any of this. Money starts coming in, then we can see about them niggers in the holler, make them pay for what they did to Richard. <laughs>
The hell? Huh? Keep running, asshole! Holy shit! He owed me money. Now you gotta pay. Son. We have a heck of a show lined up, one I know you won't want to miss. Only on WBYU 620. Out of the way. Uh, be careful. Hey there, Lankin. It, it's, it, there's every penny. What's not the love? The holler gets stronger with every gun you bring. Don't doubt that.
Democratic Louisiana Governor John J. McKeithen is refusing to get behind the Humphrey Muskie ticket, saying that it's American Independent Party candidate George Wallace who is more aligned with his beliefs. He went on to say that the Democratic Party is now overrun with communist elements. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling around a bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps rolling on down the line I'm told. When I was just a baby, my mama t You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off extorting the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork. It's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him? Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, offer him an out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> 